So welcome to the first in the series of these travel logs that I'm doing with my Mercedes B-Class. Um, we're just outside of Delhi, heading out towards Dharamshala. Uh, we stopped over for some refreshments, as you can see, uh, and we'll keep you posted on the happenings and whatever happens along the way. We're going to see some fantastic stuff in terms of scenic beauty. So we're very excited and uh, we'll keep you posted as we go along. One of the features I used extensively on this trip was cruise control. Enabling cruise control is a breeze. You can store speeds and call them as per your driving. It was amazing to see the car accelerate and decelerate on its own to maintain speed. It didn't give the cops any reason to stop us and my feet were well rested too. Just stopped over a little after Karnal to be able to um get some food for our car as well. The car was well fed and now it was our turn. No journey is complete without parathas, that too with a fair share of butter. After lunch, it was time to hit the road again. The one thing that really added convenience to the journey was the multifunctional steering wheel controls. I was able to change music tracks, make and receive calls, all while driving and not being distracted. Not to mention, the integrated audio system paired automatically with my phone the moment I stepped in. We are now at, uh, we're now at Amala. Um, just hit Amala camp. We're trying to figure out where we have to go. If this is road to McLaughlin. And we have another Mercedes with us. It's good to have your own family around. So we've just stopped for a little bit of, uh, look at the weather, it's amazing weather. Look at the fields. A quick stopover to enjoy the lovely weather and we were off again. The one thing that really surprised me about the B-Class was ground clearance. With four adults and a fully packed boot, I didn't encounter any instances of the car scraping its underside on bumpy roads or speed bumps. So we're in a place called Una. We've stopped in a place called Una on a, one of these highways. Um, we've stopped because, well, there's only one reason why you stop near bushes on a long drive. So that's what we've been doing. Um, still no sign of the mountains. I'm a little concerned. We've been driving for about 400 odd kilometers and we still, I, I still can't see any mountains. Love the way the car looks, a very dirty looking car. Uh, we're gonna get going and, uh, and let's see where we stop next. And then came the hill driving. It was time to make another quick pit stop. Check out that bus. It's only got Mercedes written on it. It's not, that's the real Mercedes. Uh, we've just stopped over for a small, um, for a small petrol fill. It's, it's hill driving, we're on the hills, now we're in the hills, we're driving uphill. An hour away from our destination. So we'll see you in Dharamshala next. And sure enough, the hills were worth the wait. Peaceful, serene, just as I had expected. My Mercedes quickly blended in with its surroundings, only adding to the beauty around. With the many twists and turns that come with hill driving, the superb suspension and electronic power steering came in handy. I had almost forgotten I had been driving about 10 hours. It was starting to get dark, but we had to stop and take photos of the magnificent ice-capped mountains. It's magical when you see your car doing things on its own. Like when we entered a tunnel, boom, the lights were switched on automatically. And once out, they switched off. We continued our journey uphill for another hour, passing Dharamshala and finally reaching McLeod Gunge for a good night's sleep. The next day, we were all set to explore the place. I was lucky to get a room in front of the parking so I could keep an eye on my precious star. It was a beautiful place and a pleasant change from the hustle and bustle of our city life. So we're on our way to this uh, famous waterfall in the McLeod Gunj. We're passing through a small market as you can see. We're going the right way. I think that's the famous waterfall. You see that there? Not a friendly one. 
The waterfall is there. Can you see the waterfall? Very tired. We've done about we've done about halfway. Almost halfway. We still have quite a way to go. One needs to climb half a mountain to reach the falls. Although the climb is tiring, the moment you reach there, the scenic beauty takes away all the pain. It's a huge fall and a picturesque one too. The Bhaksunak Falls is a spectacular sight. So unfortunately we couldn't get the car all over the, all the way here to the waterfall, but this is the famous Bhaksu waterfall and uh, we have the end of the world cafe at which the maggi is pretty famous so we're all uh, grabbing a, a bowl of maggi and fantastic view can't beat that after enjoying the maggi i took a quick dip in the freezing water and then headed on to our next spot we came back to our hotel checked out loaded the car with our luggage and started the drive downhill While driving through narrow streets and tiny pathways, one thing that was evident was the compactness of the B-Class. It's just the right size. Driving through the crowded markets was not an issue at all and it fit perfectly. And we reached our second stop, the Dalai Lama Temple. Thankfully, there was parking available right across the temple and I must add, one of the most scenic parking lots I've seen. Okay, so we're at the famous Dalai Lama Temple. We're gonna go inside and see how awesome it is. Some veg momos. You missed the veg momos. The Dalai Lama Temple Complex on Temple Road is just a short walk from the McLeod Ganj bus stand in Upper Dharamshala. The temple complex is open daily from sunrise to sunset and visitors are welcome to explore the peaceful ambience of the surroundings. After clicking a few pictures here, it was time to move on. But the momo lady at the gate was determined and I finally gave in and had some. And finally, we reached our last stop the St. John's Church in Dharamshala. Built in the year 1852, it's one of the oldest churches in North India. Also known as the Church in Wilderness, as the area is uninhabited, completely surrounded by tall Diodar trees and left in its natural condition. And like all things, this trip too had to come to an end. It was time to say bye to the hills and head back to Delhi. We had the time of our lives. I couldn't see myself doing this in anything more versatile than my B-Class. Where will it take me next? Well, stay tuned.